nationale a adopté. 339 for and 151 members against the vote on recognition of a Palestinian state. This vote, like others in other parts of Europe, is symbolic. But together they signal a growing momentum that has put Israel on the defensive. As the push for Palestinian statehood grows in Europe, France too has waded in with its support. Members of parliament who supported the motion say statehood is an undeniable right of the Palestinian people and that recognizing Palestine will breathe new life into a deadlocked peace process. Elizabeth Gigu, a socialist MP, is one of the motion sponsors. Our government is very free to uh, choose whether or not uh, uh, recognizing uh, uh, the uh, state of Palestine, but we think we, we express our view, which is that we should do so, uh, and the government should do so. It's an opinion that has angered the Jewish community here. France is home to the largest Jewish population in Europe and the third largest in the world after Israel and the United States. Attacks against them almost doubled in the first half of this year compared with the same period in 2013. Many have been leaving France for Israel. Taking into account all the rising anti-Semitic attacks this summer, a vote like this condones all those injustices committed against Jewish people in France. The vote, however, won the praise of pro-Palestinian groups and activists. This is more than symbolic. This is a political, uh, political issue. And I think that uh, France, with its uh, traditional um, political support for Palestinian state and the Palestinian cause, I think that today will be uh, uh, very important in the, the way to uh, this uh, solution. France, a permanent member of the UN Security Council, has had a long-standing ambition to be taken seriously as a player in the Middle East. Last week, Foreign Minister Loro Fabius told MPs that the UN was working on a resolution to relaunch and conclude peace talks. France, he said, was prepared to host international talks to drive the peace process forward to a definitive resolution of the conflict. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Paris.